sounds okay? That sounds great. You're welcome. That's very important. So we'll play that in the video. Do you have sure. a that, uh... Yes. In fact, uh, my son is engaged right now to be married. And in the very first meeting that I had with my in-laws to be, it was one of the items discussed immediately that we were both in agreement that a prenup is an appropriate thing to do. And uh, we both mutually agreed that it's absolutely uh, a must today. Uh, I myself was fortunate uh, to, to grow up in Riverdale, and I uh, was part of Rabbi Weiss's Kihila. And when it came time for me to get married, uh, I was told that uh, if Rabbi Weiss was to marry me, that I had to sign a prenup as well. So uh, me and my wife were a sure I'm also signing one. And, uh, and uh, uh, I think it's uh, uh, paramount that uh, uh, we act and, uh, as a community to understand uh, the kind of imbalance of power that can occur uh, when a couple, unfortunately, is no longer uh, united and uh, that we should take strides to make sure that things come to an amicable uh, ending quickly um, and, and, and gracefully. And any tools that we can put into place that will allow society to function that way is one that I think we should all be um, rallying behind and encouraging as much as we can. Okay. One last question. Is that, is that educational evening, like this evening, are they important to get the message out? Absolutely. I, unfortunately, and in coming to Israel, I understand uh, a lot that a lot of behaviors dictated by stigmas, and stigmas are often um, associated with people not understanding the real reasons behind why things are in place. And as great as the institutions and the rabbis that have all rallied behind this cause have been out trying to create tools um, and to promote it, uh, unless we understand and understand how to answer others that might question its uh, uh, legitimacy halakhically, um, question its legitimacy in terms of how to deal with a trusting couple and, and how to uh, at least start to even ignite the conversation about such a thing. I mean, to me it sounds elementary. I think the ketubah itself was designed for this and Chazal a long time ago put, put things in place to try to guarantee these things didn't happen. And unfortunately that tool in many ways has, has, has kind of like changed over the years and it's been used as a tool um, and, and we need to be educated, and we need to have to educate our children about it, and we need to be able to answer others that say that this is not necessary, and I would never make my child sign such a thing. I, I, I think they'll live to regret it, um, and, and they don't necessarily understand how important it is. I think um, there needs to be more statistics talked about here as well. I think it wasn't talked about tonight. And the honest truth is, you know, uh, we, we can't be blind to what's happening in our society. Last I heard, you know, two out of five marriages um, fail. I hope that's not the statistic in the uh, in, in in our community or, or amongst uh, kids that are raised, you know, uh, in in our in our culture and our tradition. But we can't ignore the the numbers that exist today. And uh, as much as we want to believe that it's not going to be our children. Uh, we, we have to face the reality that it might, and um, and and the best time to do this is when uh, love is in the air, when the, the energy is good, when everyone has everyone's best interest at heart. Uh, that's the time it has to be done, because by the time things go sour, it's already too late. Thank you. What's your name? Simon Gelband. Well, that's me, Daniel Meyer. Okay. Thank you so much. See you all.